Hello world, I'm Maya Sundermeyer and I would like to again welcome you to another um, addition to my vlog series. This video is going to be relatively short and I want to let you know that this is not a happy video. This is a sad one. So for those of you who know, uh, my aunt suffered two massive strokes uh, just right before or right on Christmas and she was found on the 26th in a um, severe state. Uh, the paramedics said that she was septic and they brought her to the hospital and uh, they moved her to a hospice in a different hospital. And as you guys know, in one of my last videos, uh, she came out of her coma and she looked like she was getting better and they decided to move her to a uh, around the clock type of situation. Well, my uncle was driving down to get her situated into a home. And uh, unfortunately, uh, I got the news this morning while at work. And I looked on Facebook. Uh, she passed away early this morning just as I was uh, getting up to go to work. And uh, based on reading things on Facebook and speaking with the nurse who I talked to later today, the last nurse that was with her when she passed away this morning, uh, they said that uh, she woke up for a while and then at some point she went back into her coma and she was unresponsive. And according to my cousin who posted something on Facebook, she said that my aunt was no longer swallowing. So um, her body was shutting down and she was brain dead and she was going into a state. And again, they were talking about taking her off life support and they did. And she lived through that part in the hospital in stable condition. And then when they brought her home four days later, that's when she passed away. Uh, and I wanted to, again, let you know, Lois and I had a relationship for almost 18 years off and on. We began our relationship really in the year 2000 when we rode to Disney together. But uh, we, had, we uh, had a pretty long relationship and then uh, we fell out in 2017, right after Irma blew through. Um, it turned out to be a, a toxic relationship between us, and I don't really wanna talk about that, but I need to accept it that it was. And at some point, I'm going to accept uh, that she's dead. However, the biggest one is I need to accept it that I'm going to go through a time of loss and grieving. And the part that I am not looking forward to is the depression because number one, I'm trying to finish my education and I'm trying to keep my grades up and it doesn't help to be knowing that depression will hit at some point or another. And then if depression's not bad enough, I'm already um, dealing with anger from other areas of my life. I don't want to go through uh, the angry part of depression, of grief, and I don't want to go through the grieving part. But I am going to counsel her. I'm talking to her one on one, and then I'm going to be joining a um, a support group for people that are grieving. And I spoke to. Uh, the director of that support group the other day when they uh, when they found out that Lois uh, got off uh, or came out of her coma. So I just told her I would call her if I needed her. And that was just on Saturday that we spoke. And she said that what typically happens is uh, I probably will not be going into the support group until uh, the first eight weeks of um, Lois's bereavement has passed. In the meantime, I can go and talk to my counselor about it. And I'm meeting with her one-on-one. -on -one, and so that's how that's working. I'm also uh, seeking other supports online right now on how I can grieve, on how I can process this. Um, my colleagues are all asking me what they can do. And uh, sad to say, when I was... Uh, downstairs getting ready for a morning meeting. I tried to keep that as private as possible, 
but I was this close to breaking down. So they asked me how my break was and how are you? And at some point I said, my aunt died this morning. And so uh, they were very sad about it. And so my colleagues have been very helpful with it. I'm still in the office today. I don't wanna go home right now because I'm just that sad. I'm going to go to Java Cats. I don't know if I'm gonna get coffee, but I think I'm just gonna go to Java Cats and play with the kitties and talk to the workers over there because they're super cool. I was there last night too, but I'm going again today. Because again, I don't wanna go home because I'm just that sad right now. So anyway. Um, I'll talk with you later. <laughs>